Mic check. Got you loud and clear. I really don't like these wires. <laughs> yeah, figure out where you like to stick it. Might even lower, like on your t-shirt, in between your legs or something. I tend to put mine like right here and it just, it doesn't bother me, but whatever works for you. Yeah. So you're comfortable. Okay. So, radios and avionics were good. Stand, uh, transponder is on out. Flaps are retracted. Parking brake release. Brakes, check the brakes. My right one feel good too? I'm sorry? My right one feels just as good? Yep. Okay. Instruments checked. So, altimeter, we know it's a little bit off, about 100 feet. That's their airspeed? You said altimeter. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. The airspeed is zero right now. Our Close altimeter yeah. is off. Artificial horizon, just that a little bit. It's indicating 650. Our field height is 650, isn't it? It's 650, and then we haven't set that yet because we haven't had the ATIS information. So we gotta get I the see. weather. I see. So you can just do a quick check. Okay, all this kind of looks rough. We'll do another check in the run up. Okay. Make sure this is all set to our proper heading. Okay. All right. We can get this set up too so we can listen to the ATIS. Okay. One, we'll click. One, it's uh, all, let's click OK. Enter. Sorry. Not a touch screen. Okay, click enter again. Making sure we did our checklist. All right, now this is the main screen. We'll be on. Uh, we want, oh, the ATIS is 118.125, yeah? Yeah, that's right here. 125.85. That's right here, Kirk. Oh, how, I don't understand the difference between these two radios. Yeah, so radio one, radio two, okay? Com one, com two. I know usually it's not over here. Usually they're next to each other. This okay. is not normal. But yeah, COM1, you can adjust the COM right here, the big knob, small knob, and then switch it. Oh, it's the same frequency. <laughs> and then you can switch it. Um, and then this one's down here. So what, what's your question? What are you trying to do? So right now, trying to listen? I'm, I'm trying to listen to the ATIS. Okay, so it's on COM2, so let's switch it so we can listen to COM2. It's already there, so we can listen to it, right? You yep. click that, that's listening. And then let's switch the comm frequencies because this is the one in use, and then this is the standby. You see the difference? Yeah. So switch it to the use. Boom. Now we can hear it. Call us from Bertha Marlins, Kennedy Junior Airport. Advisors, contact the destination echo. And I left my I left my Apple Pen somewhere, and I can't find it. Sucks. Wind variable three, visibility five, haze, sky clear, temperature two one, two point one six, altimeter two nine or nine or two. Pilots for 226 right in use, landing in the parking lot. 2992. That's, uh, well, honestly, my, I feel like my pen's in here somewhere. Flight restrictions, including areas of there, what, there you go. Check notums, contact flight service for details. Homeland we're out of service. Check from MSB Island, Mr. Perch procedure. Let's go. These are so freaking expensive. I know. State position on ship contact, readback runway, time to hold short instructions, and use caution for that. ATIS is a little, a little quiet for me. It is mission echo. Chino Airport, ATIS information echo 1553 Zulu, wind variable 3, visibility 5, haze, sky clear, temperature 21, 2.16, altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Pilots for 26 right in use, landing in the parking room at 26 right and room at 26 left. Notums. Taxiway Kilo, north of Alpha, closed. VIP temporary flight restrictions, including areas of prohibited airspace, are in effect for the Southern California area. Check oh, out we'll look at that. that. Flight service for details. Homeland VOR out of service. We'll Check look at that right now, actually. With Mr. Perch procedure. Numerous mount standard taxi lead off lines, and compassors and compassors apron closed. Advisory. Hey, we're no longer not. Do you know what the, the VIP is? It uh, means there's, some, uh, there, there, there's somebody we need to stay away from. Yeah, it's usually Sleepy Joe. Well, come out. I know uh, Harris was here. Oh, uh, or, or his better half, I guess. I don't know. Man, I, don't know about that. <laughs> I don't even think the two of them make a half, do they? I don't think they do. Let's, uh, let's make sure this is updated. Is this on? Oh, that's probably why. Let's see if this is on. So there's another acronym I'll uh, we'll go over today on the ground. We'll talk about it later, but first thing you check is NOTAMs. Notice there, 
airmen. Yep, notice the airmen. I don't think it would show it. Let's download. Sorry, just give me a second. No, I'm going to check. It's better to check than be wrong. Yep. Um, we can also ask them too. I don't think it's going to be an issue going to uh, Lake Elsinore, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and not get screamed at by some controller. Or get intercepted. You'd get intercepted, actually. That would be awesome pretty, and pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome but terrible. <laughs> well, as long as we had it on the GoPro, it would make a good YouTube video, right? Yeah, I'd be done. <laughs> would you really? It'd be a good experience for you. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably lose my license. Or get a like, really good slap on the wrist. Because I'm held to a pretty high standard because I'm a teacher. Yeah, you know, yeah. if, if I was a private pilot and I made a mistake, they, if you make a mistake in the future, they're actually going to come back to me. Right. You're my student. Okay. You know? Same with Casey, all my students, airport construction. No, it's databases, business worldwide, obstacles. Those all shouldn't be issues. We can start taxing. Let's let's pull out, and then uh, it should all be uploaded by the time we're uh, ready for takeoff. Just to confirm. Why is this guy yelling at us? He's telling us to move. Oh, he's probably trying to open up his hangar, but he can relax. Was he pissed? Yeah. Oh. Like, going like that. Oh, they're probably prop wash or something. He's fine. Do you know him? No, I don't know him. All right, you can stop right here. Go. Oh. That is very annoying, isn't it? Well, it's... I play with the squelch on these. Um, all right, so now let's listen to... We need to go to ground. So there's ground 1, 2, 1. 6. And then when we want to go to ground and talk on ground, we put... Com one, com two, mic, right? Yeah. So we want to be on the mic. And now we're able to talk to ground. So we have information echo, and we want to tax to the active runway. So if we if we had this, you have to be on one of these two. Yeah. So right now, if I switch this, we're talking to tower. So we'd be talking to tower if we started talking right now. Okay. But all I have to do is click mic two. Now we're talking to ground. You can only have one mic on at a time, but you can listen to as many radio frequencies as you want. We don't have a COM3, so this is useless. Okay. But you can turn it on. But you have to be listening to one or the other. You can't just have it all on. Got if it. that makes sense. So we want to, uh, we're, we're going to ask, we're at Port, uh, we're at uh, Port of Ports. Ch Chino Ground, Cherokee, 5188 Sierra, uh, taxi to active runway from Port of Ports. Yep. And make sure you say with information echo. With information echo. Yeah. Chino Ground, Cherokee, 5188 Sierra, uh, taxi to active runway with information echo. And you're, they're going to ask where you're at. And what was the call sign? 5188 Sierra, we're at Port of Port. 5188 Sierra, Chino Ground, hold for an inbound North American. Behind them, you can taxi 26 right via Juliet Alpha, cross from my 2 one. Hold for uh, traffic, uh, cross 21880. They're going to ask again, I'll say it. Hey, sir, you see the North American, uh, just a moment, they're coming up the uh, Juliet Air Alleyway now. Behind them, taxi runway 26 right that? via Juliet Alpha, cross runway 21. Juliet Alpha, cross 21 for 26 right, when we'll wait for the, the plane to go by. 5188 here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's not good. He gave you a kind of a longer one. That's why I like Chino. It kind of, it's a lot of information usually. I'm so. assuming he knows I'm a student at this point. That doesn't matter. If you're by yourself flying, though, you're going to say student pilot. You're going to exactly. say Chino Ground, student pilot, exactly. Cherokee 51880, and then you'll end student pilot, you know. And yeah. then they'll they'll be very ginger and, and cool with you. That's a cool point. Yeah, it is. That's so sick. That thing was doing passes. Dude, they let those guys do whatever they want. Do they? Yeah, all right, we, we can get going. Yeah, they'll do like low passes over the runway and like turn left, turn right. Like, cool. It's like a little air show. 
Is that a privately owned plane? Is that just yeah, everything's plane? privately owned around here. Yeah, even these. I mean, it's owned by the, the what's it called? The Air Museum. Some of them, but some of the Air Museum planes are actually are, are owned privately by like one person, and they allow it to be on display. Oh, I see. Like, uh, have you been to Planes of Fame? I have. I haven't been inside. Just oh, just dude, front. come on, we gotta go. Maybe, maybe I'll go there after today. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so cool. It's one of my. It's my favorite Air Museum in Southern California. Really? Yeah. Uh, but Tom, you know where uh, Maverick and Tom Cruise is playing, and then the Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, the F-14. Yeah. No, the P-51 actually. Is P-51? Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? No. So at the end of the movie, you know how he's flying the chick around in his plane? Yeah. That's actually his plane. Oh no shit. Yeah, he owns a P-51 Mustang. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, he's a full, fully fledged pilot. He's got all the ratings, except for uh, ATP and CFI. He's got his commercial multi he's got all sorts of stuff okay um but he actually allowed his plane to be on display at planes of fame for oh, about sure. two years yeah okay. just left about a year ago but yeah it was really cool because they finished that movie in uh 2020 or early 2020 or 2019 and oh it, you're it talking about the second maverick the... maverick yeah top gun maverick oh yeah. I, I never saw it oh 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 i never saw it's it. it's pretty good man i would I'll give it a watch i have yeah. a hard time with those cheesy cheesy movies oh it is cheesy i mean the first one's a little cheesy too dude yeah but it is it's nostalgic there's a lot of like did you ever look up iron eagle I, uh, no i did save it i think honestly dude i get home i sleep i wake up and i go yeah i hear you <laughs> or i'm with my fiance it's like and i doubt she would want to watch iron eagle <laughs> <laughs> she's not into flying uh, but she's never flown with me, actually. Really? Yeah, she's a little afraid, I think. Yeah, I, I get that. I'm, I'm still a little, little afraid of it. I, I, I like that. You should be. You know, it's really dangerous. I don't know if Casey told you, but I had a friend pass away about two months ago. Yeah. Flying an airplane. So yeah. it's, it happens, dude. Yeah. I know. And he was a good pilot. He just got disoriented and, and some fog and ice built up on his wings. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was in like a. He was actually in uh, Comanche Gulfstream. Oh. The high wing. There's oh. a couple of them around here. You see. Okay. Clear left, center, right. Clear. Okay, cool. Cessna, November 60143, information echo at MIL, uh, red for taxi. Seven six zero one four three, runway two six right, taxi via Juliet Alpha Cross. Okay, we're one. coming up on a runway here. What runway is this? Okay. Oh, well, looking. Finals are both clear because people can land on both runways, right? Yep. Both directions. Yep. Okay, so we're looking. Finals are clear. We're good to go. What was our winds? Uh, variable three. So pretty low winds right now. Oh so, yeah, look at the windsock. Oh yeah, dead almost. The way I like to think of it, this isn't an exact science, but if the windsock's broken in half like that, yep. the winds are usually under five knots or five knots. Okay. And if it's broken in half, but it's kind of going like this, usually maybe it's around ten. And then if that thing's full, it's probably past ten. Gotcha. I can't remember if I read that or or something, but <laughs> that windsock's like <laughs> that thing looks broke over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instruments look good in the turn. You see how this is turning. Yep. The ball is going on the outside of the turn. That means yep. that that works. And it goes back to normal. Gotcha. That means that works as well. Yep. Okay. More of an IFR check, but it's good to see. Okay, I know what that is. Yep. All right, run up. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Seats belt secure. We'll finish the door before we leave. Doors yep. windows closed. Controls free and correct. Looking for up. Down, up. Free and correct. Trim is set. I put that to neutral before we taxied. Yep. Fuel quantity checked. Both uh, tanks are indicating full. We visually verified that. Yep. Mixture is full rich. Yep. Fuel selectors on fullest tank. We're still on the right tank. We'll switch in about 30 minutes. All, uh, it's been about 15 already. Okay. 
throttle, 2,000 RPM. Yep. 1,800 for this plane. Yep. Oil pressure is good. Oil temp is in the green. Mixture, where it's full rich. Magneto check. Right magneto. We drop, and it's within tolerance. Okay. And that was 175. 150. 150. Left. That, that didn't sound yeah, good. That didn't sound good. Yeah, we'll do it again. My controls. All right, now you stay on the brakes. Okay. Sometimes if you throttle it kind of high, you can burn off some of the carbon. Yeah, I, there might be some carbon built up. We'll just let it sit for a second. Okay, left mag. That's a right mag, right? Oh, oh, well, no, that's the left one. You see? Oh, okay. Do you see in here? Yep. Okay, back to both. Man, like no drop, right mag. Okay, better? Yep. Back to both. What's the difference between 50 between the two? I'm happy with it. You're How do you feel? Uh, let me try it one more time. Yep, no worries. Left. Back to both. It shouldn't be on it long. It's bad for it. I didn't see any RPM drop there with that left mag. But then the second one, go to the second one. There's now it drops less than 100. Yep. That's okay. You're all right? That's okay. Yeah. You're comfortable with that? I am comfortable with that, okay. yeah. If something happens and one of the mag fails, we'll still be able to fly. That left, that, that yeah, left it is. Mag. it actually is dropping. It's just, it's not very noticeable. It's dropping about 50 RPM. Then back to both. Yep. And then, all right, about 100 RPM. Okay, with less than the difference between 50 between the two. Okay. We have emergencies for a reason, but I feel comfortable. I do. Okay. I'm not just saying that because I can get flight hours or any money. I feel confident in the airplane. Magnetos are checked. Okay. Suction. Fuel, fuel pump check if fuel pump is on. Fuel flow is good. Fuel, fuel pressure is good. Suction is five. I mean, let's and check meter. the check. let's check the alternator real quick. Um, the right one. Oh, that's not the ammeter. It's the ammeter on the plane. That's their plane I fly. Okay. All right, good. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Senior flight instruments check and set. Geo Tower, four six five eight Golf, ILS two six right, low approach. Four six five eight Golf, Geo Tower, number two fall, Kip Buck, very short final, we're in a two six right, low approach, on the go westbound approach is approved. Roger, only two six right, so approach approved, westbound, five eight Golf. Okay, I don't see anything as far as notums. There's nothing. Oh, maybe this is no, that's Disneyland. Check I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him just to just to be careful. Gina Ground, Cherokee five one eight eight Sierra. I got a question. Say again. I got a question. Five one eight eight Sierra. What do you got? Hey, I heard on the ATIS that there was a VIP notum. I don't see it on my map. Do you know what that is? Uh, there's multiple, like, little, um, three and four mile, um, wide, uh, TFRs, like, over LAX, Santa Monica, Hawthorne, like, El Monte, that kind of area. Okay, I see them now. Thank you. I appreciate the help. 518 So, if you're not sure, you can always ask around. Don't ask coward questions like that, though, because they're busy. So, hey, he was talking about these over here, so it's, like, literally no factor, but... He wanted to tell us just to be careful. Gotcha. Sure, I was on the phone with Phil Cowles. I was like, uh, Fox 600 Echo Fox phone. That's fine. I was expecting it to be like the presidential one, you know? Right. All right, you can continue. What are we doing? Oh, we're ready for uh, pre takeoff. Okay. Um, All right. Fuel pump on, fuel selector for this tank, flaps set, transponder up, lights. We're good to go. I'm good to go. You good to go? Good to go. Okay, what are we rotating at? 65. Okay, and what are we pitching for? 
85. Okay, we have three emergencies here. If any of them happen, I'll take controls. I'll say my controls. You say your controls. I'll say my controls. Okay, we're rotating off the runway. If we experience an issue on our rollout, we're going to go full stop. You have the toes brakes. Yep. I'm also going to use the handbrake to stop. We'll pull the mixture, pull the power, and turn off the fuel. The fuel's to your left. Do you know how to turn off the fuel? Yes. It you goes put, straight back the towards detent, us. Yeah. Okay. And it won't just go. There's a clip that you got to put the. Yeah, you got to pull it, I think. Yeah. Do you yep. see it? Yep. I haven't actually sat on the left side of this airplane. Yes. So. It's, uh, it's there. Okay, yeah. cool. You know how to use that? Yes. Okay. Fire extinguisher is in between us. Yep. Pull the pin. It's got a yellow pin. And then you push down on this one yep. to use it. Okay. You're a firefighter, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll rotate. If we experience an issue on rotation, we'll pitch for A80, our best, VG, best our best glide, and we'll land on the field straight ahead or to the right. We'll use flaps as necessarily. Um, That's if we have a problem uh, a 1,000 feet or below, correct? 1,000 feet or below, which is 1,600. So if this makes it to 1,600, I'm going to make now the final emergency. I'm going to turn around and land on any runway or taxiway I see fit. Pitching for 80. Uh, slipping if necessary, using flaps if necessary, and we're just going to tell the tower landing on runway, blah, 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 and they can deal with it. Okay, any questions right. on those three emergencies? Nope. Okay, cool. Are right, your controls? My and controls. Your, your controls, and you can roll up to the hold short, and we'll get on the frequency. Okay, we're on it. And when you're ready, you can let them know we're going to do a left crosswind departure towards the lake. Um, uh, and two six. All right, they'll they'll give me the runway. Yeah, you just say I want uh, requesting departure. You know, they'll they'll tell you what you want to do. Two six right, pop pop. I requesting departure towards the lake. Left crosswind departure. And I'm 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 talking to I'm talking to the tower. You're talking to the tower. You see what comm you're on, yeah. and it's in the active. All right. Okay. Is it? It's Cherokee Tower. I'm, I'm sorry, Chino Tower. Chino Tower. Chino Tower five one eight eight Sierra for a left downwind departure. And it says the whole show. What's the call sign? Five one eight eight. Five one eight eight Sierra. You want to say five one eight eight Sierra? Chino Tower five runway heading runway two six right clear for takeoff traffic go over wash Chestnut. Go ahead. Two six right clear for takeoff we'll fly runway heading and we're looking for that landing traffic five one eight eight Sierra. So All right, lights. Lights. Camera. Fuel. Touch it. Touch both of them. Mixture. Fuel. Okay. Yep. Action. Remember, we actively look. Okay. Okay. Well, we're all on the runway. He said two six right clear for takeoff. What was he saying about a chair? Uh, There's a guy landing, but he's pretty far out. He was just telling us. Chino Tower. Probably like three miles out. 2,000 feet VFR survey from Ontario. Air Force 6, Lima, Chino Tower, transition top on the Peru Chino, Timber 299. Let's get center line before you go power. To the airport. 299 or 2, present altitude at the, hang on, 164. Here we go. You're good at 2,000 then. Yeah, we'll be at 2,000 for now. Here, Air Force 6, Lima, front risk. Roger, then that's fine. Maintain center line. And uh, just let me know uh, where you need to go. And But that's Air fine. That'll be alive. a five line pattern. I'll move everyone else. Set that out. Pages are all in the green. Roger. Rotating. Use those rudders. There you go. And rotate to 85. Left left hand on the yoke, right hand on the throttle. You always guard the throttle because that throttle can just come back. What do we got over here? Is that a fire? Ah, uh, some dust. Oh man, my door opened. Ah, shit. Uh, let me see if We're I can. We're gonna have to come back around. Let me see if I can get it. I got it. You got it? Yeah, I'm surprised I got that. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what happened right, the other day. We're gonna the in the Cherokee. They're gonna be south front down here in a second. So you can continue west on contact with that departure. So how do you know you're still departing on the runway heading? Uh, uh, well, I would I would look at my compass. compass. Okay, and what else would you? Where else would you look? Eight eight zero left turn is approved. Uh, I don't know. Left turn approved. Eight eight zero. So you can start right, left turn. Continue westbound contact. So cat departure. Yeah, I was trying to get you to say uh, you look outside, right? You look outside. Use a hill or a tree or a mountain or a power line. You're going to use that as your visual point. And don't use your compass in a climb. You have to use your heading indicator because your compass is going to show an error when you're climbing or descending. Or Got it. Just not as accurate. Hey, we'll climb two thousand four hundred on this altimeter. Oh man, it's so nice to fly in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. It's already cool. Can you hear it? No. Is that better? Right, holding yeah. short, pop, pop. Request to destination Cajon Pass area. Uh, we request a clear route. Charlie, uh, this is the volume, and this is the volume. Okay. Okay. Four, six, seven, how far east are you going to be going? 
Uh, about six miles further, seven miles further, he's kicking up for some time. Climbing I-85. Contact Grizzly Tower, 121.0. 21.0, kicking up for some time. 6-0, you want to go through Ontario now? Uh, negative. Uh, just uh, clear Club Charlie. Uh, we're below uh, 2,500. All right, so pick a heading or a point outside and maintain that. One what is it? Please, you want to write down departure. Uh, uh, one two zero. Okay, we'll maintain one two zero. We'll make a write down departure in a two six right, clear for takeoff. One comma two nine nine two. Two nine nine zero, clear for uh, write down with departure, runway two six right. That's not the one. Uh, six zero one four three. Just the one for the Chino altimeter two nine nine or two. Two nine nine two, Roger. Uh, one four three. Number eight eight zero, frequency change approved. Twenty four hundred, yeah. Twenty four hundred, firm. So we're still in Chino's airspace. I'm gonna hang out for a little bit longer before I switch frequencies. Just because he said for good change approved doesn't mean we have to. Gotcha. Because we're so far from Lake Matthews. If we say something, you know, we're so far from the airspace for Lake Matthews or the practice area. Is you know that what? where we're going is to Lake Matthews? Yeah, we're going to Lake Matthews because we're going to do some uh, uh, square course at 1,000 feet and they have sure some good points to use for that. Uh, Skyline 91484, we're uh, just southeast of 1591 interchange inbound with Echo. La Habra has got some good stuff too, but La Habra is better for high altitude stuff like stalls, uh, steep turns, slow flight, stuff like right. that. But yeah, we got three practice areas. We got La Habra. Lake Matthews, and then there's actually, oh, and Cucamonga. Cucamonga, and then the last one's over these hills. I forgot what that one's called, but I've never been there, and I keep meaning to, to, to go check it out. What is the uh, altitude? Your, no, what is your altitude? Oh. Hey, Corona Airport's right below us. What is your preferred uh, cruise RPM and speed? Um, this plane's still so fast. Uh, probably like 2300 RPM, right where you're at. This plane's mission, uh, if you want to call it that, is... This is what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, I would say that it's a trainer, but it's a heavy trainer where it's... It, this can take four people. It really can. I know it's not ideal, but... It's got a big engine. It, it, you can cruise with two people, three people, and you can go pretty far with this guy. Especially at cruise. It, it burns probably eight gallons an hour at cruise, but normally it's closer to ten. Okay. Not super aerodynamic, to be honest. No, it's like a <laughs> kind of a barn, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a Jeep. <laughs> it's not very aerodynamic, but it's it works a, well. It's a real thick wing groove, right? Wing groove? Yeah, it is wing, a thick wing. Wing yeah. groove, yeah. Very thick wing, the Hershey bar style. All right, we're on Lake Matthews. All right, let's climb. We're over. We're out of the Charlie now. Where's the Charlie end? Do you remember as far uh, as distance wise? Uh, you, you told me. Uh, it's, it depends on how high you are, right? It depends, but I'm talking about distance away. Where's the Charlie end? I'm not sure. No, it ends at the freeway. That's right. You did tell Yeah, me. so now we can climb. The, the cake is back there, right? Okay. The upside down wedding cake yeah. is back there. We can climb up. What do you want to climb for? 4,500. And then as soon as you get there, we're over the 15. We'll, uh, we'll do slow flight. Do you remember how to do slow flight? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Depending on how today goes and how you feel, when we come back, if we have time, we can do some landings or just one to see how you like it. Uh, but it's all up to you. We can also do like your first landing. Uh, you can shadow the controls. You can hold everything I'm holding and just feel how I'm flying the airplane all the way into the ground. And then I'll show you what ground effect feels like. Yep. And then we'll do a go around. And then you can about Skywest 46, 43. Because it's really that flare and then that sight picture that 
moment when you round out and don't land and you just float above the runway until you bleed off your airspeed. Because yep. you want to stall the airplane just at the right point right. so it lands. You don't want to force the airplane down when it wants to still fly because if you do, it bounces and they call it porpoising. Yep. And it'll go like this, like an RC plane, right? And it gets worse as it, as it goes on. Yeah, it's yeah, it kind of gets a little dangerous. All right, where are we at? We're at... Uh, We're over Corona. Lake Nottie's practice there in Cherokee, 5188 Sierra at 3,400, climbing 4,500. Over Corona, we'll be heading to the 15, heading southbound Lake Matthews. Okay, he's no factor. Oh, that's the king air Chino was talking to. All right, if you lost your engine right now, what would you do? Scream. Scream? Okay. <laughs> After you screamed and realized you were going to die unless you did something, then what would you do? If I lost my engine right now, I would give the airplane back to you. We, okay. we would be looking, uh, we would be probably going to be heading, we're probably back to Corona. I think we would make it to Corona. I think we would. Kind of a stretch, though. I don't think this has good of a glide ratio as an archer. I'm going to change course just a little bit to stay away from the water. That's awful. Was it really loud? It's just all, it's all smelly. Yeah. A lot of disturbance. Okay, 4,100. I guess I do respond to that and I want to go. Thank you. Okay, coming up on 200 feet to go to your altitude. And before we start the maneuver, we'll do a cl uh, clearing turns. We'll do our pre-maneuver checklist. And then you want to start leveling out about 50 feet. 50 feet before. So we're, all, we're only trying to go to 4,400. 45. 45. Oh, oh. Uh, on this, let's just pretend. All it's okay. Right. All right. Yeah, uh, I see what you mean. First in down to 6,000. Scouts are 46, 43. Just for your training purposes, we'll ignore that it does that, but when we're underneath airspace, then we'll focus on it. Right. That'll be 130 heading. Cool. Yeah, it was 46, All right. 43. So once you get the airplane configured for cruise. I think we're trimmed out. Pretty okay, well. you like it? Yeah. All right. One thing I don't like, I, I, I still feel like this artificial horizon is a little j jacked up. Is that, does that look odd to you? Like it's shaking? Yeah, it just seems like it, I don't know, changes. Yeah, I mean, this one doesn't really have the degrees of up or down, which is kind of annoying, but it still works. It does what it's supposed to. We need it for the bank, and we need it to know if we're climbing or descending. It works. Okay. All right, so let's do some clearing turns. First thing we do, though, or our pre maneuver checklist, is we make sure we have fuel. Yep. We have enough fuel? We have we have enough fuel. Okay, second thing we do is a clearing turn. Remember, we do two clearing turns. Yep. So they need to be 180 degrees, but they can be one left, one right, not equals. So let's see. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, I was, I was Only my fiance is allowed to do that. <laughs> zero, four, zero. Let's turn left to a heading of zero, four, zero. Okay. That reminded me, I was, flying, or I was uh, driving with my friend a while ago, and, uh, and we'll maintain our altitude and airspeed as we do this. And uh, this car in front of us braked really hard. They actually got in an accident, and my immediate reaction was to put my arm over his chest and brake. <laughs> you said 240? Uh, 040. Okay. This guy right here. Okay. Okay, it's 46, 43. Hey, we're looking outside, right? Yep. There is a, there is a jet right there. Okay, right. he's, 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 he's 3,000 feet high. He's going to 24, 35. Okay, we'll go back to Lake Elsinore. Okay, we're going to 24, 35. Usually around here, too, when you're just banking like this, let's not bank more than 30. Gotcha. Just to make it comfortable. Okay. It's not, it's pretty comfortable, right? Banking yeah. around 30. And we're looking for... Cool. 
All right, we can be back on this heading, 130. Cool. I'm happy with that. All right, and then next on our list is radio call. We'll make a radio call. And then before I make my radio call, we'll say, uh, or we'll uh, find a place to land. So I like the fields back here where Lake Matthews is. We can make it there. We'll pitch for 80. We also have straight ahead, like Elsinore or the skydiving. You see the runways out way yeah. in the distance, those dirt. Oh, those are dirt. Okay. Those are pretty good, too. We're too far for those. But if we go much further, we could make it to those. Okay. All right. I'll make a quick call. Lake Matthews Park, Sarah Cherokee 51880 at 4,500. And southbound along the 15th over the Corona Lake, we're going to be doing slow flight towards Lake Elsinore and Lake Matthews. All right. So set me up for slow flight. Uh, I heard you're slow down the 15. Where are you at exactly? I'm over Corona Lake at 4,500. Is that up by Corona? Corona Lake? I don't know where that's at. Oh, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. It's just south of the dump. Okay. I. This is the San Diego area. Where at in reference to San Diego is that? Sorry, wrong freak. That's weird. Need to change the period, talk to you a little bit. One, two, three, point five. Yeah. That's so funny. We were talking on the wrong frequency. <laughs> I do see some traffic up there to the. I saw a skydiver that way too, just so you know. Uh, oh, there's more traffic right here too. Where? Right here to. Uh, okay, I see him. I'm gonna say a quick call. Lake Matthews practice area, Cherokee 51880 Sierra over Corona Lake at 4,300, heading northbound on the 15th freeway, doing slow flight Lake Matthews. Okay, we'll climb. Let's climb. Full power climb. The eighth. Dude, these two guys are not talking. Lake Matthews practice area, Cherokee 51880 Sierra at 4,500 climbing, 5,000 over just north of the Corona Lake now along the 15th through and it's northbound. So there's got a lot of traffic at the Hotel Tango, 4,000 over Corona Lake. Heading south, uh, we're turning left towards the greenhouses. We're doing simulated hood time. Uh, he, that was that guy talking. What do you want to uh, climb? I'm just, we're just climbing to avoid traffic, unfortunately. Gotcha. Okay, you can level up here. Whatever altitude we'll, we'll do slow flight here. You want to just stay at 5,000? Yeah, 5,000, 4,800. All right, we're good. I know you know how to climb an airplane, so I'm like, let's just move on. All right, we'll do slow flight right here. So remember, for a maneuver, there's a couple things we need. Make sure we always have a heading. So let's use 310 as our heading. Okay. And then we configure the airplane into the landing configuration, right? While maintaining our altitude. So your altitude, your your altitude is going to be. You want to go 5,000 or 4,900? Yeah, I'll go 4,900. Okay, so get it up to 4,900. Lake Matthews practice area, Cherokee 51880 Sierra at 4,900, climbing 5,000 over the dump and the 15 through it, heading northbound. Lake Matthews. Imagine not having anything. I know. To look at. All right, so we're at our first notch of flap speed, yeah? Yep. Flaps 10 below 115. Uh, trim a little bit here. Okay. So maintain this heading as well. And we're going to slow down to about 65 miles per hour. One degree of flaps. One notch of flaps, I should say. So I don't want you uh, below 65, and I don't want you above 75, okay? So right. I need you in that. That range. So if you're losing altitude in the start of this mover, just add power. It's okay. Gotcha. There's no specific power setting for slow flight. So you're losing altitude, just add a bunch of power. And, and start pitching for about 65. And while you're doing that, you can add another notch of flats because we're low. We're still slow, which is okay. And remember, slow flight is pitching for airspeed and using your power for altitude like you're doing. You see that? Yep. We can use those last notch of flaps, I think. Last notch of flaps. And our heading, we'll maintain our heading. Let's get back to, yeah, 4,900. Awesome. 
We're about 75, so let's slow down a little bit. So how do we slow down? Pitch. Pitch up. Maintain our heading, plus or minus 10 degrees on our heading, plus 10 on our airspeed, minus zero, and plus or minus 100 feet on our altitude. Cool. Welcome to slow flight. All right, I want you to do a left turn to a heading of 150. In slow flight? In slow flight. And I want you to do it at a standard rate turn, so I don't want this to go past this point right here. That's three degrees per minute, or three degrees per second. And the two minutes at the bottom means if you do that, it takes you two minutes to do a 360. Do it. Not too late, 5,100, climb up to 5,500 back. Lake Maddie's track is there, Cherokee 51880 at 4,800. Uh, turning south all over the rock quarry, heading southbound on the 15, Lake Maddie's. Lake Maddie's track is there, Port Down Single, Port Down All right, you lost altitude. How do you get it back? Uh, we're Rattle. doing Rattle. The instrument time. Don't let that airspeed creep on you, up on you. Keep that airspeed slow. And we'll climb 5,000. So full power. And maintain your airspeed. Okay. All right, maintain your airspeed as well. And I'm heading to one two zero now. One two zero. Okay, now let's descend to while well, maintaining this heading four thousand five hundred. Maintaining one two zero, yeah. Maintaining one two zero and this airspeed. So this is going to simulate when we're coming into land. You're just going to slowly descend. There you go. You can check, you can increase or decrease that uh, throttle to get it to like 500 feet per minute. And maintain your heading. So this is what it feels like when you're descending. You felt this before. Last time we flew, I had you fly almost all the way in. Yeah. So this is what we're trying to do. And that airspeed's important. It can get away from you at times. You don't pay attention to it a while, and it starts increasing or opposite. And you, when you're coming into land, definitely guard the throttle, okay? Yep. Lake Matthews practice there, Cherokee 51880 at 4,700, descending 4,500 over the 15 freeway and the dump heading southbound towards Lake Elsinore. And no one else talks. One, two, three point five. That's the right frequency. Okay, very good. We'll keep this descent coming to 4,000 now. I want to see more. Okay, now let's turn to a heading of 150 while descending, while maintaining your airspeed. I'm just trying to give you a lot of tasks, yeah, too. Good. I'm fine with it. And once you get to 150, I want you to go to 090. Watch that airspeed. Good. Pull it back a little more. There you go. About 200 feet to go for your altitude, so get ready to level off. And let's go back to a heading of 090. Standard rate turns. You don't want to bank too much because then the plane will nose dive pretty hard or yeah. bank hard to the left or right. Good airspeed control. Okay, now let's start adding them some of that power back in so we don't bust 4,000. And continue that turn to 090. So add more power, a little bit more power, a little bit more power, more power, more power. Use this VSI as a good reference too. Okay. Hey, 090. We're about 70. Maintain 4,000 on 090. We'll add some more RPM. More RPM. More Just RPM. pitch up a little bit and add some power. You see how quickly it can come back? Yep. 
So you can trade that airspeed for altitude. Have you ever heard someone say that? Yeah. So you just traded that airspeed for just a little bit of altitude, 50 okay. feet. It's momentum, right? Yep. So you had too much airspeed and you were low on altitude? Just correct for it. Okay. If you're too slow and you have too much altitude, you can dive, trade that altitude for airspeed. All right, very nice. Now let's recover from slow flight. So we want to so get full on. power. Full power. Maintain your altitude. Don't climb or descend. Your RPM is going to start increase, or your airspeed is going to increase. That's good. I want you to get to about 110 uh, miles per hour, and then take away those flaps. First notch of flaps. First notch. Recovery is throttle. First notch of flaps. Okay. Okay, we have a good airspeed, right? Yep. We're safe. We're above our VY or VX. Cool. We're at our altitude, and we're not descending or climbing. We're good. Next notch of flaps. Okay. We're looking again. We're climbing. We're gaining airspeed. That's good. Our altitude's safe. Now last notch of flaps. All right, cool. Now let's turn left towards the lake. We're going to do, do some square course. Good job. Way to, way to be looking and scanning those instruments. At times it was starting to get away from you and you noticed it and you brought it back. And that's what they want to see on the check ride. They don't demand perfection. They really just want to see your ability to realize my airspeed's slow, my airspeed's fast, and correct for it. Make the proper correction. Right. Trim. Lake Matthews Practice Area, Cherokee 5188 Sierra. We're about 4,005 miles to the south. We're heading to the east side of the lake to do some ground reference maneuvers. Lake Matthews. Okay, we'll get more this way. Let's go. Heading 030. 3,800 south square. Thank you, Simulate Edge. Why? Is there traffic? Yeah, there's three planes. One's high. No factor, and then uh, one's at our altitude, but he's going away from us. But we're still gonna use evasive maneuvers <laughs> to avoid him. You see where the lake kind of ends? Aim for that point. Okay. There's a guy over here going this way, but he's 500 feet low, and I think he's gonna do a turn. He's doing ground reference maneuvers. 500 feet lower than us? Yeah, he's 500 us. feet lower than us. Now he's 600 feet lower than us. Matthew Shavik, system 5184, Julia, 3,400, simulate an engine out, south square. Oh, okay, so he's... They're doing an engine out. I, I still don't see him. Yeah, I don't see him either, but he's turning on my, uh, on my radar. Is he over the lake? No, he's to our left now. He's over our left wing. He shouldn't, shouldn't be a factor. I see him now, I think. No, that's the water. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right, let's start descending. Let's descend to 2,500. You see that, like, road over there that looks like railroad tracks in the distance on the north side of the lake? Yeah. That's going to be our runway. We're going to pretend that's a runway. Okay. So let's descend 2,500. And I want you to start finding a pattern around that. Okay. So have you studied the like different legs of the pattern? Yeah. So yeah. So we're on the, we would be on the downwind leg. We'd be on the downwind, a really far extended or far out downwind. And then if you turned here, we'd be on the base, right? Yeah. So we're going to extend our uh, downwind a little bit. Yeah. Let's get down to 2,500. And about three miles, there's an airspace we're going to avoid. Oh, you see that? Military jet taking yeah, off? No. He's a big guy. He's no factor. He's way out there, but. You know, actually, this thing doesn't help. There's a lot of glare off of that. Yeah. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. All right, let's do a left turn. Heading, uh, let's do 320. 320. The Swift Bird. I don't know what that is. I know there's a lot of fuel tankers coming out of uh, March. Do you yeah. see what I'm talking about? That like black yeah, line? Like basically a dam. Like train tracks or something. It's black. No, I thought you were talking about the dam. Oh, oh, that is a dam. Oh, to the left. Let's use that point. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll continue descending 2,500. So we're on a crosswind leg now. A base. Because that's the runway. Okay, let's turn towards the runway, or our simulated runway. 
and we'll fly right over it, and we're going to be at 2,500, so we got about 400 feet to go. So now you see how we're overshooting it. What point are you trying to use? Are you trying to use the dam itself, or this little tiny I'm one to the left? I know. I'm trying to use the long dam. The, the actual big one over here? Yeah. Okay, we'll use that. Oh, I thought that's what you wanted me to no, do. No, it's okay. I mean, I see, it's pretty I hard for I me to point at something on the ground. And, I see what you're talking that. about, the railroad tracks thing. It's extended the little... The yeah, yeah, but we can use the dam itself. All that's right. okay. Okay, we're at 2,500 almost. We'll start to level off. Pitch power trim. Lake Matthews Park, Sarah Turkey, 5188. Sierra, 2,500 over the north side of the lake, over the dam. We're going to be doing some ground reference maneuvers over the north side of the lake, over the dam. Lake Matthews. Oh, yeah. All right, maintain 2,500 and about 100 miles per hour. So then we're coming into land and we're in the pattern. We're not pinned to go on 120. South Portia Lake, Summit, 2,500. We're going to be heading back to Riverside, Matthews traffic. Was that for A4, Juliet? Uh, A4, we're on the south shore here. We're transitioning to the north shore, 2100. Uh, we got you guys, uh, we can pass behind you guys uh, on the climb out here. I would really appreciate that, thanks. Uh, of course, uh, that's really good. That was uh, 88 Sierra, right? Yeah, we're 88 Sierra. We're over the north uh, dam at 2500. Uh, Roger that. We're doing a right hand turn here. We'll pass behind you guys. All right, so maintain that altitude. Like back back there, so Del Tango. We're doing simulated hood time, 4,000 over the greenhouses. Okay. So you kind of see, this is the runway. We're just going to overfly the runway. Yep. And then we're going to do this a couple times so you can get a feel for flying the full pattern. Have you flown a full pattern? No. Okay, so this is your first time introduction to a full pattern. There's going to be a couple of things I'm going to point out to you that you're going to use while you're flying the pattern to make sure you're flying, turning at the right points, proper distance away. So a lot of sight picture stuff here you're going to have to kind of memorize. All right, so I'll tell you when to turn left. We usually turn left, right? Yes. If there's no, if it's not depicted and it doesn't say anything, just assume you're going to turn left in the pattern. Did you see that bird that just went by? Oh, no. I was looking at my uh, radar. Is that high? Uh, is okay, thing, let's do a left turn. Will this thing survive a bird strike? Yeah. Right in the prop? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Probably. It's a pretty big airplane. Whatever, whatever uh, makes you sleep better. I mean, it, anything could happen, dude. Sorry, that wasn't very inspiring. No, it's fine. Right? I mean, I I'm just being honest. Okay, so you're turning left crosswind, right? You see the runway behind us? So now we can start our downwind. You see that distance away? Yep. So let's turn. Oh, look at the three. Look at there's three. Uh, there's three flying in a formation. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Why are they here? We'll turn. Okay, so now this is too far, but that's okay. Right, well, what the heck are these dudes doing? That is cool. I wonder, wonder why they're not talking. I don't know. On mine, it says they're one airplane. They're so close, they're one airplane. Interesting. Sorry, I hope I didn't scare you with the bird strike thing. But no, like, no, you didn't. Yeah, I, I mean, did. it's, it's I, just me, being realistic. I ride, I ride like, motorcycles. So no, I, you I just, just don't know. I, I can't really tell you. Jordan, you told me we wouldn't get hurt. It's like, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, dude. No, I, I, I'm not a... <laughs> not, a, not a wishful thinker. I can't tell if those are like little tiny experimentals or are those like warbirds. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I can't tell either. There's Look at that, dude. Well, I think they're also on their own frequency talking, you know? Uh, yeah, but yeah. they should still be on like monitoring our frequency. All right, so we're parallel. We're on downwind leg right Okay, now. so parallel let's say right. where the dam kind of ends, where when it starts to curve, that will be the end of the runway, okay? Okay. So we're a beam, the end of the runway. Does that make sense? Yeah. Our wings pointed at it? Yeah. Okay. And what do you like? What do you like to see for a downwind? Uh, or for a base? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to see the point you want to land at, okay? So for Chino, it'd be like the numbers two six right off of your left shoulder, at about forty five degrees from the wing. Okay. So about now, do you see where I'm looking at yeah. where the dam ends? That's where I want to turn. So okay. let's turn. Dude, what the frick? How? They're way higher than us, though. Yeah. Right? But shouldn't they be talking to us at least? One Echo Delta, Lake Matthews. You guys on frequency? 
Next map is traffic, 34150 Juliet. Not Bro, sure. these guys. 3,500 climbing to 4,000 east down. They're probably a bunch they of old are, parts, dude. They are, they are warbirds. Uh, no, they're RVs, I think. You think so? I think so, yeah. It's hard to tell, but I think so. Okay. So, I'm not going to tell you when, but decide when you want to turn. So, you can get a feel for that. So, you're lined up at the runway. And you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't be banking too much at this point. And then you want to maintain your altitude. Obviously, in the actual pattern, we'd be descending, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. I think Maddie's practice there. Turkey 5188 Sierra over the North Dam at 2,500. Is traffic doing uh, aerobatics on frequency? Yeah, I think I see them too, but I don't. Are they talking? No, they're not talking, and they're kind of flying close to us. Oh yeah, I see that. Should we leave the area? I'll just keep watching them. Yeah, I don't think they're on frequency at all. Let's stay away from them. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Is that uh, they always do that? The guys flying aerobatics here—they're never on frequency. I bet you they're from Corona. Yeah, Corona or Tino. Is that considered bad airmanship? Of flight of two coming in from the 91. I'm sorry. Is that considered bad airmanship? Yeah, that's yeah, it's, dude. They're in a practice area. You're learning how to be a pilot. Everyone here is learning how to be a pilot. About three miles out. They just, they just they looking for your dance on it. There's a flight of three at around uh, 2005, 2003. They're over the west shore. Uh, they're flying in formation, yeah, doing aerobatics, and they're not on frequency. Looking, thank you. Yeah, no, they're not talking. <laughs> they're gone, though. I don't see They'll come back, I bet. 30, 4, 1, 3, 2, Julia, My gosh. All right, we'll do one more of these. Okay. I'm not even talking to you, and you're doing it, by the way. So. Good job, Kirk. Thanks. So about now, let's turn. I want you to keep this tight, this downwind. Do you know why I want you to keep it tight? No. What if you lost your engine? You want to be close to that runway so you can make a normal pattern and land. Got it. Oh, my. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm watching them. I'm watching them. You fly this way. They're at our fucking flight level, too. I'm actually going to take a picture. I'm going to report them. I see some traffic down there to the left. He's not a factor currently, but... No, he's... Everyone's high. No, he's lower than us. You sure? Yep. I don't see him now, though. He's gone. It was a helicopter or an airplane? I don't see him. Okay, okay. Uh, southbound. Southbound. Uh, uh, Okay, we're going to go back to Gino. We're going to do some low approaches. We're actually going to use the runway. All right. And then if you feel comfortable, we'll, we'll do a land. Let's just get out of here. I don't like this anymore. Right. So let's do a left turn. Where do you see him at all? Or No, I don't see He was out farther. Oh, okay. Way beyond here. Okay, let's turn and climb uh, 4,000. 4,000. Mike Matthews traffic, Yellow RV is over the uh, Green Squares, over the southwest area of the lake. We'll be staying over the Green Squares at 3,500 feet, Mike Matthews. Do you want me to go back? Okay. Yeah, just go this way. Yellow RV, are you guys doing the maneuvers, the aerobatics? Or... Oh my gosh, oh whatever. So you want four okay, go 3,500 3, actually. 3,500 3, and just head this direction. There they are again. Yeah, he made a radio call. Oh, he did? Yeah, yellow RV, that's them. Uh, yep, I think yep, that's them. Yep, I see him. Just so you know, Kirk, if I felt like we were in danger or something, I would take the controls. Alright. But like, I'm watching, I'm looking. I see, and they're up there a ways. Yeah. They're flying so fast. Let's go this way now. Yeah. Just fly towards the 9115 interchange, okay? Yeah. 
And then once we clear this hill, let's descend to 2,500. All right. Yeah. Yeah, they're I see right straight towards us. Well, going yeah, they're they're in the opposite direction. Opposite, yeah. All right, I'm going to get the ADIS going for you. You still want 3,500 or 3,000? Let's do 3,000. All right, we're, we're 3,200. So okay. Yeah, level off 3,200. Like Matthew Scott, yeah, I'm going to be operating over the southwest here of the lake, over the grid squares at 3,500 feet, like Matthew. Okay, now they're talking. Yeah. They probably heard us complaining about them. You see the 9115? Yep. Fly towards that. And to 2500, right? Um, once you feel computer. like you're clear of this hill, then you can descend, okay? And 2400 on this. VIP temporary flight restrictions, including areas of prohibited airspace, are in effect for the Southern California area. Check notums. Contact flight service for details. Advisories have just for other information for California Coast Guard as well as flight service frequency. State position on initial contact. Read back on my summit and hold short instructions. Use caution for breaking okay, all my Advise on initial contact. You have information. Fox shot. Fox shot. Altimeter two nine nine or two. ILS runway two six right approach in use. Landing and departing runway two six right and runway two six left. Not on sack by kilo between okay. Alright, so once you're over the ninety one fifteen interchange. Let's do a left uh left three sixty, we're too high. And there's a lot of traffic over the 9115, so we'll just wait a second. And you can do this left 360 while uh, descending to 2,500. Let's do actually like 2,700 because it is still. Make back traffic, that's the hotel thing of 3,005. You want to make the radio call to Chino? Uh, sure. Okay, so it's going to sound like this Chino Tower, Cherokee 5188 Sierra, over the 9115 interchange of information, Foxtrot. Requesting full stop, or actually having work. I'm gonna make one more call at Lake Matthews. East of the lake at 4,000. Confirm the so flight to be turning southbound at 4,000. Lake Matthews Park, Sierra Cherokee 5188 Sierra at 2,800 over the Rock Quarry, heading towards a 9115 interchange. Last call, Lake Matthews. All right, so I'm pointing right at the 9115, and uh, we'll uh, descend to 2400 on this altimeter. And when you're ready, you can make your radio call. Hey, we're all out right here. They're on our left wing. Oh, yeah, I see. Metro that. traffic. White Dutch 670 Charlie. Uh, it's at the east of the lake, turning west at 4,500, doing maneuver. All right, last call. So we're going to talk on Chino now. When you want to refer you from Chino, my side your final. All right, when you're ready, let them know. Short right, one for so you. I'm going to be say Chino Tower, Cherokee, or 51, 5188 Sierra. Yep. Uh, requesting. Where you are. Uh, over the 91 interchange. Requesting full stop. 4163. My controls. Wind. Your controls. Calm. Um, we're on my 26 left, so take off. Take off, two, six left, I'm just going to make the call, okay? Yep. Chino Tower, Cherokee 5188 Sierra at the 9115 interchange at 2300 with information Fox Star requesting left close traffic. You see them? Yep. Okay. 5188 Sierra, Chino traffic uh, head, ha lower has the insights of flight of RVs into left base for a 26 left. I got the RVs inside as well. Left base for 26 left, 880. RV1 has flight additional traffic. Two to one o'clock, two miles westbound. Altitude one thousand five hundred. Uh, not a frequency. No, no. Hey, John, about looking. They're going to Chino too, apparently. 
Do you want 2,400 or 2,400? So this is the thing. You can descend if you want. The TPA is 1,400 feet at Chino. So just by the time we get close to the airport, you can be at 1,400 feet. So it's kind of your discretion, okay? Left base for the uh, base of the tower, east of the 15 freeway traffic. 9 o'clock on a mile northbound, 1,900 flight of RVs. So, uh, so I'll need to turn here, yeah? No, we're going straight in. Oh. Do you know where the airport is? Do you see it? Uh, you see the warehouse districts in the middle? Okay, so fly directly towards the right warehouse district. And we're entering a base for 26 left, the long runway, okay? Is that the traffic effect or I don't have any size? Delta traffic said at 2 o'clock and a mile there northbound for you. Helicopter 1,300 skated. They'll be landing north. You're going to make the base tower on you. It's busy, Kurt. Yeah, sure the uh, flight of RV is at your 8 o'clock and a mile. They'll be doing an overhead break to the uh, field. Five thousand two two alpha now. Worldwide 63, contact SoCal departure. Over to departure, Worldwide 63. Chino Tower, Turkey 2, 4, 7, Mike Mike, short 2, 6, 5, for North Departure over Ontario. Uh, you can descend a little bit more. We've got to be at 1400, so we're about 1000 V high. RV calls the right transfer on zero. And then uh, let's do our landing checklist. We should uh, switch the fuel tanks. Uh, we should. We totally forgot. Yeah. I got five hundred kilo. That was our maneuver thing, right? We, I just didn't switch. My bad. We got a lot of fuel though. Well, on left tank. Yeah. Yeah. Two four seven, Mike. Mike, just uh, stand by for a moment, and you're gonna maintain the upper add blow. And we'll continue our descent. Two six five. You want me to read it to you? You focus on flying. Okay, before landing checklist, seatbelts upright and secure, fuel selectors full tank, fuel pump on, it's on still, fuel pressure is verified, right? Make sure set and landing light as required. Cool. All right, we're done. Do we need landing light? Uh, nah, we'll leave it on. We don't need it during the day. Yeah, okay, you see the runway the long runway? Yep. Number one, runway 26 left, that clears the option, left close traffic on the go. This is left clear for the option, left close traffic on the go, 88 Sierra. Where is that traffic? RV61 Echo at Delta. I'll They're straight ahead to the left. They're flying in. Discretion. RV26 right. Don't worry about them. They're on 26 the right. Clear to land. Why don't you do this full landing, landing and then I'll take the controls before we land? Let's reduce our power now. There are 247 Mike Mike Tax, you hold short of RV26 right. Short 26 right, Mike Mike. So reduce that power even more. We gotta get slow, right? To use those flaps. And let's start our left turn now. Just early because there's parallel runways, right? Left turn now, there you go. Two alpha, let's go. Okay, so now we're at our TPA, our traffic uh, pattern altitude. Let's stay at uh, 1300, Kirk, 1300 over the power lines. You see the power lines? So 1300, so I don't want you to descend, okay? There you go. Now we're good. We can add a flap. Flaps 10 below 115. Fuel selectors, pulls tank, fuel pump on, carbine off. Make sure it's 4 inch and flaps are 10 below 115, okay? You get lined up at the runway. And I want you to be about 80 miles per hour now, okay? 80 miles per hour. So slow it down. Maintain altitude or? No, descend. We're going, we're landing. Yeah. I'm going to take the controls just before landing and then I'm going to do a go around, okay? How are you feeling? You feeling okay? okay. So let's continue to slow down. The Robinson 1200 indicated. Path north of them. Six on out looking over the traffic. But remember, it's slow flight now. Pitch for your airspeed, power for altitude. Fly runway heading, runway two six right, clear for takeoff. Okay, let's do that second notch of flaps. That's going to help you a lot. How's the wind feel? Doesn't feel very windy. Five feel to proceed direct to base. Direct to one numbers. Six one Echo Delta. Okay, let's do that last notch of flaps. We head to your left. Final, hey, let's add some power. We're a little low. You see how it's all red? Add some power to gain some altitude or just level off here. I got two up hotel traffic on a three quarter mile final for 2 1 north of Alpha Robinson 1100. Two up hotel traffic. You should be around 80 miles per hour right now. You're a little fast. That's okay. And your aiming point should be those numbers, okay? So you're just pointing the nose at those numbers. Doesn't mean you're going to land there. Two X-ray ready, go off right. 
2452 X ray, Chino Tower, Flower Runway heading from a 26 Okay, my controls. Uh, We're going to go around, full Runway power first. Take and I'm going to pitch for my airspeed. Let them know. Going around 51880. And then first notch of flaps immediately. Traffic 26 left. Left traffic for 26 left 880. Alright, your controls. Continue climbing at 85. Continue climbing at 85 and take out one notch of flaps. Hey, one notch. There you go. Continue climbing at 85. Guard that throttle. You're in the pattern, so you're guarding the throttle, Kurt. There, we'll keep climbing. And then one last notch of flaps, and we'll climb out to 1,400 feet. 1,400 feet, Kurt. 1,400 feet. Kilo traffic passing left to right. You okay? Yep. The, uh, okay. Across the two one. I know it's a lot going on. The base of the tower. Just right. let me know if you want me to take the controls at any point, or you're confused about something. Mike, Mike, one second. Tower okay. one two zero okay. five six. Secretary of target. Mike, Mike. Okay, so they didn't say anything about when we have to turn. So we can turn whenever we want, really. I want you to turn over this warehouse below us once we're over it. Okay. Actually maintaining your heading pretty good. So let's start our left turn now. Continue that climb at 85. Okay, we're at 1400 now, so we'll level off at 1400 feet. Hey, you see this road right here? Yep. That's your downwind. Turn on that road. Over to SoCal, moving 452 This is good. Don't pick one. This is left clear for the option. This is left clear for the option. Eight eight zero. Hey, you see that road that continues? You can follow that. That's a good point for you to follow. Not every airport has this, but you can use this because you're. This is going to help you a lot. Okay. So they're a little high, right? So let's get down to 1400. Look at this sight picture. You see how far you are from the runway? Yeah. That's how far I want you to be from runways. If okay. something were to happen, we would be able to land on a taxiway or something. We would make it. Okay. So you see where it is on the wing, too? Yeah. Use that as kind of a sight picture or a memorization to know, okay, that's the sight picture I want when I look to okay. my left to see the runway. And then I start my landing checklist when I get to the numbers or whatever point I'm aiming for, okay? So when we have beamed 2-6, I'm going to start my landing flow, okay? So we are beamed it, right? So I'm going to say fuel selector is full tank, fuel pump on, right? Okay, fuel selector is full tank, fuel pump on, carbine's off, mixture's full rich, and flaps are going to go 10 under 115. So let's reduce our power. Let's bring it back to like 100 miles per hour, okay? And I want you to start descending as well. And let's maintain about 1,200 feet over these power lines. So let's start a left turn now. If you look behind you, Kirk, do you see the runway? How it's on your 45? That's what the side picture you want there. So once you're below 115, let's get that first notch of flaps in. And then stay above 1,200 over these power lines. If you go below, I'm going to help you. So stay above 1,200. kilo. Keep slowing down, Kurt. Traffic from a two north of Alpha. Clear to take off. Clear to land. Two one north of Alpha. Five of different people. Uh, first notch of flaps. First notch of flaps. Well, one fifteen. Okay. Final looks to be clear. We're gonna go second notch of flaps. Second notch of flaps. Second notch of flaps. Now I want you at eighty miles per hour. Slow down eighty miles per hour and turn towards the runway. And reduce that air. Reduce that airspeed. Reduce that throttle. We want to sink. What's the poppy saying? Uh, we're a little high. We're a little high. high okay. With this airport specifically, good turn. Good turn. We don't want to turn too late because then we're going to end up on the wrong one way and there's right. parallel traffic landing sometimes, so that can cause issues. Okay, so about 80. So pitch for 80. Hold 80. Don't okay. let 80 go. Uh, last flap. Last flap. Last last flap. flap. Hold 80. Hold 80. We got... Okay, reduce that RPM all the way. Just, just all the way back. And then when you see that first red, you want to introduce that throttle back in so you level off. Because you see how that far right one is actually trying to change? Yeah. So now you can start adding that power back in. This is what's called glide slope. We want to be on glide slope. There's the glide slope. Okay. We're a little fast. 
Okay, my controls? Your controls. All right, I'm going to land. You watch what I'm doing, okay? Yep. I'm maintaining 80. I'm maintaining Kill 80. Dollar. I'm soft 30, on the controls. I'm coming down. I want 2-6, but I'm, I'm kind of overflying it, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go power three, idle now. Uh, I'm on the rudders, too. I'm dancing on the rudders. To, uh, I'm looking down the runway. And I'm just flaring, looking down the runway. I'm just holding the plane off. I'm not forcing it down. I'm just looking. Fly, fly runway heading, two, six, right. Just bringing the nose down. And then now we're going to go flaps down, full power. I'm going to do the takeoff, okay? Right. Airspeed's alive. Gauges are in the green. Just not a good time to switch controls. Right. And rotating. And I'm on that right rudder a lot. Do you feel me on that right yep. rudder? Yep. And because if I let it go, look what happens. Yep. Yep. And we'll pitch it and we'll climb out at 85. All right, your controls. My controls. And remember, one hand on the throttle. You want to give it a go? I'll try it. Yeah? I'll be right here helping you out. Okay. I'm going to tell you when to flare, okay? okay. I'm going to be like, okay, I that back pressure. You have any questions on what a flare is or when I say back pressure? Nope. Very clear. Okay. okay. So when you're coming down, if this is the runway, I don't want you going like this coming down. I want you to be like this, flare, and then just hold it off, okay? okay. You know, tower inbound to the field. Inbound to the field. One bump tank. One Papa Tango, Roger. Wind variable three altimeters two nine or nine or two. Make left traffic runway uh, two six uh, right. You stay parking. It's uh, a little bumpy coming in there, isn't it? It is. It's usually the grass. We can start our left turn. And uh, change runway two six left to be following the what? The, the vegetation or the grass kind of creates some thermal. It heats oh, up, yeah. cools off quickly, and the heat, hot air rises, right? So it creates that thermal. You want 1400 or 1200? 1400. That's what Chino's TPA is. I don't want that. They want that. Who's going for right close traffic? Experimental 123 with game. Very nice. Don't over. Uh, don't climb too much. Chino Tower, wind variable 3, similar to Chino to Make right close traffic. Run me 26, right close take off. Make right close traffic. 26, right close take off. 123 with game. This is 88 Sierra, correction, Cherokee 88 Sierra number two, fallen Cherokee, base turn to funnel of the boss, running 26 left, clear of the option, traffic on a four mile funnel, parlor on my sky hook. I'm number two for 26 left, clear to land, looking for traffic for the parallel, and I'm looking for traffic to follow 88 Sierra. 960 Mike Sierra, Chino Tower. 960 yeah, Mike Sierra is outside two in the localizer. Zero Mike Sierra, runway 26 right, clear to land traffic, midfield down south of parallel, runway Cherokee. And should be able to lose a little bit of altitude. We only have 1,400. Because you end up being a little high. We'd rather you be right where you want to be. I call it cheating. You don't want to cheat. Let's get you about to 100 miles per hour now, Kirk. About 100. Uh, 8198 whiskey. Or one Papa Tango, extend down and change from a 2 6 right. Okay, now we're at beam, our landing point, so we'll do fuel selectors, false tank, fuel pump on, carbide off, mixtures full rich, and flaps are 10 below 115. You can have those first notch of flaps. Okay, I have landing traffic in sight. Landing traffic in sight, it's here. Again, 2510 Tango, fly runway heading, runway 2 6 right, clip a takeoff. 2 6 right, clip a takeoff, 1 2 Tango. There one with, question, three with Gilly Mike send up under the okay, You let me know when you want to turn your cross or your base. Look look and look over. When that's on your 45, when the end of the runway is on your 45, we'll turn. That's about it right there. Okay, that's about it. I agree. Let's get about 90 miles per hour now. And then 1,200 over these power lines. There by one pop of tango. Traffic wing up, turning left base of the watch for the south. Runway is a Cherokee report in sight. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of shadow the controls, and I'm actually going to help you a little bit. So right. don't fight. If you feel like me pulling right. a weird way, don't fight it. But right. I'm going to let you manipulate the controls, okay? All right, should be, uh, All right second notch of flaps, finals clear. Second notch of flaps, finals clear. Good. Good. We're going to start our turn towards the runway now. We don't want to overshoot it too much. We got shot because I make sure. We'll keep turning. Sorry, I kind of turned a little bit more. There's a guy right next to us, if you look. One pop of tango. You're going to yeah. follow them for okay. the uh, base turn. You're number two. Following All right, the last notch claps. Okay, hey, look at 2-6. Right. That's what you, you want. You're aiming for 2-6, okay? okay? And let's get down to 80. Power idle. Yeah, well, to the left, right? Yeah. Yeah. At any point, if I say my controls, I'll take them, okay? Yep. They're still your controls. Okay, let's line up. Let's stay at 80. 80 miles per hour. Make sure you're using those rudders. Let's add some power now. Add some power to level off, because we were descending a little too much, right? Okay. Same contact. Still got a departure. Thanks a lot. One, two, tangle. Three, whiskey, lima, alcohol, base. Going good? Yep. Okay.
Bring it down, bring it down, it down, bring it down more, bring it down more, pointing at the ground. Okay, let's start flaring, bring it back. Power idle, power idle. Just hold it, hold it right here. Hey! So flaps are down, full power. Your controls, this is all you. Your controls. Stay on center line with that right rudder, more right rudder. And you're rolling, you're rolling. You're rolling. You're rolling. And, you're rolling. You're rolling. and rotate. Right on! That was your first landing. Full power, full power. What was your fifth flight? What's that? Fifth flight, right? Yeah. Okay, maintain the runway heading, okay? Don't curve over or don't drift okay. over because there's an airplane right next to us. Gotcha. So look at a hill or a house or something out there and follow that point or a heading, whatever you have to do. So now you're getting pushed over. Fight that. Fight that. And we'll climb at 85. Turn 880, when you have to turn crosswind. Turn crosswind, 880. Let's turn. Right yeah, he wants us to turn. Where's your mic? Here, trap on left, crosswind, south pattern is Cherokee. You can your left hand turn, contact, still cut a parker. How'd that feel? Yeah. yeah. Did you feel me holding it? Yeah. Did I ever let up? I, I held it, right? All the way to the ground. Yep. A lot of students will hold it, and then when they get close to the ground, they go like this, they let it go. It. So okay, hold it. Base at the walk travel depart for right to Rebel Skyhawk, runway 26 right, clear for the option, travel in the opposite base of the parallel runway Cherokee. Base at the watch, and the two. Hey, you see the road we're going to yeah. follow? So let's turn down our downwind, left downwind. And you're at your altitude now, so it's level off. We still got more fuel in that, that left tank, so we'll stay on the left tank. Four, three, four, three, back. Fly runway heading, runway two, six, right, clear for takeoff. And usually when you have the runway made, you know you're going to make your point, it's power idle, okay? Sometimes if it's windier, you'll keep the power in a little longer or something. But that was great. That was a good approach. here, number two, follow Cherokee left base, runway two, six, left, clear for the option. I'm number two for two, six, left, looking for traffic, eight, eight, here. Three, with Lima, traffic, hands right off the base, turning final power to runway Cherokee. Inside, please, please. Traffic inside to follow, it is here. You see him? Chino Tower, bird dog, yep. six, yeah. So we're going to follow them. So when you have a guy coming in, we're not going to use our, our aiming point to turn at anymore because we don't want to turn too close behind them. We're going to use them. We're going to beam them and then wait five seconds. So we would already be a beam, but we're not. So we're going to wait. No, we're not quite. But you know what I mean with the runway. So now we're a beam with that airplane. Let's maintain our altitude a little bit more. Now we can start our landing checklist, okay? So fuel selectors full as tank. Fuel pump on, carbine off. Make sure it's full rich. And flaps are 10 below 115. So let's... Pitch up a little bit, reduce some power. Yeah, we can turn. And to get those flaps in too. Helicopter yep. five, remember uh, kilo traffic in the uh, right down one is the uh, steerman for two six right, running two north of off, clear to take off to the land. Once we clear the power lines, go to twelve hundred. Well, oh, wait, yeah, you're at twelve hundred over them. Yeah. So now you can start your descent. Okay, the final's clear, right? Final second notch of flaps. Okay, don't overspeed them too. Let's be about 80 now. 80 miles per hour, so cut that power more. Pitch, pitch up to get to 80, and then you'll have to enter, enter that power back in when we start sinking. More bank, more bank. Bird dog 6 2 tank. We're actually going to follow us as in the crosswinds off 2 6 uh, left. There you go. Follow them in the crosswind for 2 6 left. 2 tank electric. Okay. Here on the go, extend up into the power lines. On the go, on the go, extend up into the power lines. 8 8 here. There are one, not Papa Tango. Okay, full, not, full one, flaps. Two, six, are right, clear for the option. Clear for the option, two, six, right, one, Papa Tango. Okay, so pitch for that airspeed. It's just like slow flight. Oh, fucking bird went right by. I saw him. Okay, there's your airspeed now. Add some power. You see how it's one red? That's good, we're close. What are you looking at, two, six? Yep. Focus on two, six, maintain 80. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a touch and go. Okay. If it feels dangerous or you don't feel comfortable, we can do a go around. Just say so, and we'll do a go around. Can we make send up into the power line? Okay, keep it all the way down. Power idle. Power idle. Okay. Here's ground effect. You don't want to flare too early. That was a little early. Now we're going to hold it off, okay? Hold it off. A little bit rougher, but not bad. Okay. Okay, flaps down. Flaps down. Get center line. Get center line. Center line. Okay, now full power. Maintain center line with those rudders. We like flight bombs Long Beach. You're going on your own. Airspeed's alive. Gauges on the green and rotating. Four down. Three eight five three. Recommend. Try not to rock that uh, the wing too because they're low. You can tap the wing on the ground. Five point five. Out of us two down. Five hundred. See the steerman. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome.
at or below 2,500. Contact SoCal 125. So climb by 85, 85. At or below 2,500. Uh, contact at 125. Camera 1, Papa Tango, you're following traffic and the right crossing over the power line. Like right, 6 2 Tango X ray traffic. Alright, so this next one's going to be full stop, okay? Yeah, I, what we should be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We look up for the Cherokee, two Tango X ray, continuing. Two Tango X ray, say it's Cessna, downwind being the numbers. We'll, we'll advise when we are downwind of being the numbers, and we're looking for the Cherokee, two Tango X ray. Three okay, with Lima traffic on our right base. And we'll just keep going straight, okay? 1,100, pass north of them, number two, following a bird dog in the opposite downwind, I'll call base. And we can put the two one traffic course for the uh, two six right traffic. We're looking for fourteen hundred or you yeah, fourteen hundred always, always when in the pattern here. Yeah, back when able to turn base. Yeah, no base, tiny base, fourteen hundred. Okay, make sure we're we're on our head. Oh, we're we're four one two two Juliet, two miles south of ninety one fifteen at two thousand eight hundred inbound with information truck start requesting option. Good turn left now. Okay, four one two two Juliet, Chino Tower, Roger, enter left base from a two six left. Left base, 2 six, left, 13 2 2 2 8 2 2 2 8 when comma, the middle of 2 9 9 2 6 2 Tango, X-ray traffic, hands left base, turn to final for the south runway, is there a style, do you have them in sight? Inside now, 2 Tango, X-ray. 2 Tango, X-ray, pass behind them for your base, turn number 1, runway 2 6 right, clear to land. 2 6 right, number 1, clear We're, to We land. turned out the X-ray. power lines, you see the power lines right there? Yep. That's what he wanted us to do. Number 3, Whiskey Lima, number 2, following a bird dog, downwind south, a beam the numbers. He just wanted us to extend, to stretch it out a little bit, because there's two planes ahead of us. On the left base, you said, for a 2-6 right? Affirmative. They're on a coming, they're on a left base now, for 2-6 right, a bird dog, 1,001, in case you haven't said. Yeah, uh, negative, I'm sorry, we're looking. Roger, I'll go base. You okay? Yep. Yeah. Cherokee 8 8 Sierra, number 2, following says in a very short final, roaming 2-6 left, clear for the option. I'm number 2 for 2-6 left, clear for the option. This one will be full stop, 8 8 Sierra. Sierra, change my frequency 120.12, 2012. Over to 2012, 880. Uh, 2012, 880. Sierra, change my frequency 120.12, 2012. Huh? Uh, Tower, we do messed up. Uh, it wasn't me this time, it was him. Three with Lima, turn base. Number one. All right, maintain fourteen hundred. The option. Don't be low. Don't be high. The plus or minus hundred feet on okay, your check ride for this. Right. right base of the block. Three two six to right, clear for the option. Okay, so we're number one now. There's a four three Quebec. Send up into the power line. Change my frequency one two zero point one two twenty twelve. Okay, we're beam our landing point, right? Our aiming point. Yeah. So we can start our landing checklist. Fuel selectors full tank. Fuel pumps on. Car beats yeah, off. Mixture is full rich. And down. flaps are ten below one fifteen. So let's reduce our power. I do about four three four three. Like, there you go. And we'll do our flaps. And you open the power line. First notch. First notch. There you go. Okay, you can start your base. The fourth, you can back to man instructions. Turn left, crosswind. Okay. Uh, Looks like finals clear. We're gonna do our second notch of flaps as soon as we're wings level on the base. Okay. Yeah. All right, second notch of flaps. Okay, let's turn in. I'm just watching the steerman. He's so close. Okay. 80. 80 miles per hour. Let's do the last launch of flaps. Right base for the parallel runway 1,000, uh, 100 indicator, or 500 indicator, steerman. Got the steerman inside, hit it, sir. Let's fourth thing back, number two, follow check, short final runway 26 left. All right, for the full flaps are good, good job. We'll go 80 miles per hour all the way down to the runway. Fourth thing back, end up verify runway 26 left. Uh, two, six left, number two, four, three, quick, sorry. So we're high. Throttle for altitude, right? So let's cut that throttle. Maintain that airspeed. 
The poppy's still saying we're high. Yep, so we're and still too like high. Low. It feels like we're hot. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Feels like, feels like we're low to me. And we're, and we're, and we're fast. There we go. There's the first poppy. High and fast. That's not a bad thing. Okay, there's 80. Hold 80. Hold 80. Hold 80. Hold 80. Okay, this is all right. Cut the power. Point it towards the ground. Cut the power. Power idle. Okay. Now we'll flare here. Oop, that was too much. My bad. We'll flare right here and just let it settle. Feel that back pressure? Yep. Turkey 32 Julia, trip right. 11 o'clock, two miles eastbound for Riverside, 2,500. Left down, left down. We're going to go full stop, okay? Uh, We're going to keep rolling. Left down, runway 26 left, cleared for the option, then left close traffic. I don't want to go to Papa. Papa sucks. Number two, clear for option. Mike Trolls. Turkey 32 Julia. Mike Trolls. Turkey 880, safe parking. No port ports, 880. We're going down to Lima. 80 Roger, right turn Lima, contact ground point six. Right turn Lima, contact ground one to one point six, eight eight zero. Good day. Good day. I got it. You helping? Yeah, I got it. Okay, wait, no, follow the line. Follow my controls. Oh, follow the line. Follow okay. the line. And I was hoping to make it further. This is just like a long radio call. <laughs> All right, laughter landing checklist. Are right, your controls? My controls. Flaps retracted. Transponder standby. Landing light is off. Strobes are. That's our guide mission golf current one comma two nine or nine or two. Mixture lean for taxi. Fuel pump is off. Fuel off. pressure. We have we have fuel pressure is good. Uh, we're ready for taxi. For everything's good? Yep. Make sure that uh, everything's so done. So now we're going to go uh, Chino Ground, um, 5188 Sierra, taxi to Porta Ports. Make sure you say where you're at. So say I'm who you're talking to, who yep. you are, yep. where you are, and where you want to go. Okay, and I'm at Lima. Well, let's look here. Yep, you're at Lima, but where are you clear of? Clear of 26 left. left. Good. At Lima. At Lima. Ground uh, 5188 Sierra, uh, clear of 21 left at Lima, taxi to Porta Ports. Turkey 5188 Sierra, Chino Ground, taxi to parking via Lima, Kilo, cross runway 21, hold short of runway 26 to right. Lima, Kilo, crossing 21, and we'll hold short of 26 right, 88 Sierra. Alright, taxi us over. So where's 21? Uh, well, it's going to be right here. Yeah. So you also said we were holding short of 2-1. We're actually clear. I mean, you could say 2. Actually, you know what? That's fine. Who cares? I'm happy with that. So I'm not we got we got No, we're good. Okay. I thought she yeah. said hold short of 2-1. No, hold short of 2-6 right. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is 2-1. When we cross the runway, remember we look. Yeah. Clear, clear. Cool. Clear, clear. Okay, and they said turn on Kilo, so if we turned right here, that's Delta. So let's slow down. You see how it says Delta to the right, and then Kilo's more up to the right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like really confusing. I see. They want us on Kilo? They want us on Kilo, so we're going to keep going straight. All right, there's 2-6 right, so we'll, we'll, okay. we'll stop there. And they said hold short of 2-6 yeah. right at Kilo. Yep. Yeah. All right, they're gonna give us another radio call. You gonna try? You want to try repeating it back to them? Yeah, uh, try. Yeah, uh, it should be pretty simple. It's, it's probably simple. gonna be Alpha Juliet. Cross two six right at Kilo Alpha Juliet. That's probably what they're gonna say. So do we call them back and tell them we're short of uh, two six right? Wait a second. These are built on. Center ground, Cherokee 5188 Sierra, we're holding short of 26 right at Kilo. Cherokee 88 Sierra, stand by traffic landing. Oh, we get a little air show. Yep, Sierra. I want to fly stuff like that, but then at the same time, this part of me is like, it is, it is dangerous. Is it? 
I mean, they're old planes, dude. Do you think that's any more dangerous to fly than this is? I think it's a little bit more dangerous, oh, really? especially since it's a tail dragger. It's, I, not, it's not like that flies like a dream either. Three eighty three across crossing between right, two six right at Kilo Continuum via Alpha Juliet traffic crossing the approach. Two six right. You, you want me to say? Yeah. Two six right at Kilo, and then we'll do Alpha Juliet to parking eight eight two. They do talk really fast. Yeah, I get, I get. Um, if you're ever on your solo where you're flying and they keep talking like that, and you say student pilot and they're still talking fast, just say repeat. Okay. Repeat. Camera is too hot. Turning off. Hey, it, it survived. Yep. That's perfect timing. Yep. Okay, we're crossing. We're going to cross the runway. We look at finals. Yep. There's that guy taking off. And he's, she said Alpha. Kilo, Alpha. Right? Juliet. Kilo's closed. What? We'll turn. Okay. We're on Kilo right now. It's Kilo, Alpha, Juliet. So Kilo. Left clear, left center, right. There's no one coming. Yep. Man, that was a good day, dude. Good yeah, that was fun. Thank you. It's very stressful, but like that's was, uh, you know that's. Going on there. I, I'm glad you're experiencing that. You know, not everything's all nice and dandy, and then you do your solo and you <laughs> you just yeah. get handed the worst situation ever. I mean, that wasn't a terrible situation. It was just the, those those three uh, RV sixes were freaking me out. Yeah, they were freaking me out too. I'm gonna actually call the tower and and, uh, and report them. <laughs> I just I just think it's kind of trashy, like. They're from here too. They landed here. Like I'm not trying to get them in trouble and get no, them like yelled at. I just I want them like the tower's probably gonna like call them or talk to them later and just be like, hey, like you need to talk when you're out of practice area or something. Or, you know, have some courtesy. Yeah, because it's not required to talk. But like, I mean, me and you over there. There's probably another student pilot that was probably freaking out. Like, you know, it, it's not ideal, man. I'm not really like a snitch. I just, I really do care about safety. Oh, so. for sure. I mean, that's the way you gotta be. Yeah. It looks like I'd rather be known as the guy who reports people than be hit by another airplane. Yep. I'm sure they're nice people. Imagine if it's the guy that was yelling at us earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that is an RV6, isn't it? Oh, dude, it could be them. Shoot, if it is, I'm, I'm still probably going to just tell the tower. Eh, maybe I'll tell them. I don't know. I just don't know if that would come very well from a young pilot yeah. talking to an old pilot. Yeah, it don't matter. Old people make mistakes, too. Yeah. These guys make me laugh because they have, like, the, the exact bike from Top Gun. I saw, you know. Even the you stickers. Know. Have you seen the stickers? Yeah. Have and you, they, they have, ride it around with aviators on without a helmet. Yeah, I'm like, dude, these guys are living the life. Have, uh, have you been <laughs> down to the uh, Top Gun house in the ocean side? No, there's a Top Gun house. The, the Top oh, Gun house. Oh, her house? Recently. Yeah. And that bike is on display. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, seven, five, two, Watch your wing. Yeah, Eagle. Three, seven, five, oh, Greg. Three, seven, oh, Greg, you're flying? Chino. Taxi to uh, Yanks via Alpha Juliet. Man, these wings are so short. short. I'm like, you're going to hit that, and it's like, you have feet. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Number two, six, twelve. And you guys were instructed to go uh, by Yanks Museum. Uh, that was the email yesterday. Okay, great. Thanks. Smile, you're on camera. Oh, or we're already on camera. Yeah. All right. That should be good. All right. So, shut down checklist. Go oh, put this away. Yep. Right. That one's just out. Oh. Shut down. Throttle. 